All right, Ginger, we do have our first virtual guest of our interview. So, Mark, come on up and ask Ginger a question. Hi, Ginger. Um, <laughs> you and I have talked a lot on social media um, about your book, uh, or yeah. both of your books, as well as even some weather events. So I know this afternoon I was laughing at you talking about how you hate grass. Um, so <laughs> I got to see that one already. Um, but um, I, I wrote you a like a three page letter a couple of months ago because your book was really impactful on me. And I, I just wanted to ask you because um, when my wife was alive, she encountered being attacked when she was in college and when she was walking over to my house one night. And I know you talked about in your first book when you were at Valpo um, that you're perhaps you're not even sure still to this day what may have happened. But there was all this innuendo and going around um, behind you and. How were you able to overcome that and deal with it? I mean, because, I mean, I know you'd laugh if I say you seem so well adjusted now, but I know from your books that it's a path and it's a journey you're on. Um, but something so traumatic, how, what, how are you able to move on from that? Well, thank you, Mark, for everything you said. I, I really appreciate that. And I think that uh, the beginning of it was very much the disassociation, which is not healthy. I think that I took a, a grand pause on processing my trauma that had happened. And once I did get into it, I have found that all of the, even when I was avoiding or thought I was avoiding, it was in me and it was affecting all of my life, all of the time. It was stressful to my body and to my mind. And now that I have shed my shame from that moment and from that night, there is a, a release and a freedom and a beauty. And all I want to do is pass that along to other people. I want people to know you could do this sooner than I did. You know, not everybody's going to be ready to do that and process their trauma on some sort of timetable. But I do think that many of us put it off because we think we can get away with that. We think that that's the way to deal. And it may be for a little bit just to, to be human and protect yourself, but that's really been the keeping, I, I keep talking about it. I keep processing it. And every time I do that, it brings me freedom. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for that question. And thank you, Ginger, for your very insightful yeah, answer. 